This is the Device Bridge Switch, an interesting new switch that we have seen leaked at a bunch of the different shows that has a screen on it. This is the switch right here in the front is where you have your screen. And similar to the other devices in the Device Bridge family, you are able to use a Wi-Fi backbone to connect this to your network. And then the nice new party trick that this brings is that all of these are PoE. So these are seven 2.5 gig PoE plus and one 10 gig. PoE Plus port on the front of the switch, as well as you have your power and your reset as usual. And the screen will, of course, show on there, and I'll get B-roll of this, it will, of course, show on there your status and your information what's going on. So I've already slightly unboxed it and set it up because I realized that part takes way too long in uh, my testing. So I'm gonna plug it in over here, and I'm going to plug in the 10 gig port to my Mac Mini right here, which I use for all of my shows and production, and it happens to have a 10 gig NIC, so we're gonna see what I can do with that. This has the capacity of providing up to a whopping 185 watts of power. It has a Wi-Fi 7 uplink capability as well as six gigahertz support. Now, this would have been super useful to have at a client where they had a large open space in the middle of the floor and they decided, hey, we've got this empty space, we wanna fill it with desks. So they got a whole bunch of beautiful desks. They had power outlets already in the floor, so they figured, hey, no problem, we'll plug our computers into there and everything will work hunky-dory. Not so much, they didn't have network over there. So then they came to me and they said, what do we do? And so we went and they, we explored a bunch of different options, including dropping it down from the ceiling. They didn't really like any of them. So at the end of the day, we ordered a bunch of uh, cable covers that ran along the floor and we were able to run network that way. But at the end of the day, they still hated it ultimately. And they ended up getting rid of this area and turn it into something else. I don't remember what it is now, but it is no longer desks. Had this been here, it would have alleviated the whole problem because you had desks with computers, you had desk phones, and you had a printer in the area there, and none of that was Wi-Fi based. So this would have solved all of, this, all of that because you would have been able to power everything off of this one switch with the power, and there was Wi-Fi in the area, so you were able to get your Wi-Fi backbone signal from this. So I'm very happy to see this device here. Now, while this is coming online, let's show off what's in the rest of the box here. You, of course, have your mounting template as always. Your mounting piece, your mounting screws, and your reading material. And uh, that's it. Box is empty after that. Of course, you always have the insulation guide on the outside. Now let's take a look at the screen over here and see what we've got. Okay, now on the front of the switch, we show the signal strength. It shows as good at minus 40 decibels on channel 85. That is six gigahertz and it is, and it is picking up the signal directly from the U7 Pro wall on the rack here behind me. Now let's take a look at the screen over here. You've got, it shows, it's meshing to the U7 Pro wall. You have your individual port configuration, which you can of course go into the port manager and turn ports on and off or configure them accordingly depending on what settings you want, how you want them set up, if you want a power cycle PoE and so on. Then down below you of course have your Wi-Fi retries, how much PoE power is in use, the name of the devices that are on there, the clients, you'll see I have my Mac mini directly on here. And then you have your model, IP address, Mac address, uptime, etc., as well as the parent and and the air stats. All right, now I've got this connected up to my Mac. As you can see over the, here, the port manager UDB, it is set up. And if we do another speed test, oops, we'll go over here, we'll reload. Very nice. Getting 500 meg down, 35 up, let it finish running. 800 meg, 900 meg, 500 meg up. So nine, 960, one gig, we've hit one gig down. And let's see if we're gonna get any more out of the upload. Let's see. Let Cloudflare, let Cloudflare finish all of its tests. Nope, looks like that's where we're going to be is one gig down and 500 up. So that is really impressive. Again, that is coming down over this device here and it's connected into the 10 gig NIC and that is over Wi-Fi. That is phenomenal. You'll see here I've turned off Wi-Fi just to do another test and it's going from Long Beach to Inglewood. I'm getting one gig down two, 250, 300. Yeah, consistent one gig down, 300 up. Phenomenal. Our send and receive is over four gigabit per second, which is just beautiful. 
absolutely love to see it. One thing to note, this is the 60 watt charger that comes in the box, it's not the 210 watt. You can see the difference here in external power adapter in the settings. You can set it to whichever one you've got. This is the smaller one if you have the more powerful one, such as what comes with the enterprise switch or you can buy it separately. Um, then you'll be able to push a lot more power through it. Popping in real quick from the future here because I realized I forgot to show you the different devices all being powered by the UDB switch. Now, keep in mind, this is PoE Plus, not PoE Plus Plus, so something like the UNAS 2 wouldn't necessarily work unless you had an injector in line as well. However, the Ubiquiti phone, the UC Cast Pro, as well as the Intercom Viewer are all running off this with power to spare for other devices should you want to plug those in as well. This is just one of the many setups that you would be able to do with a versatile switch such as this. There's a couple of locations I'm looking forward to using this in, especially uh, some of my restaurants and bar setups where they have the register, POS, printer. I hate those printers. Those little annoying receipt printers that print out the orders as they come through. They're only Ethernet. They're old and archaic and stupid, and I wish we would do away with them, but everybody has them. You know what I'm talking about. This UDB Switch plus the UDB IoT are going to be excellent additions to the lineup. If you want more information on the UDB IoT, I will link to my other video at the end of this video. The Ubiquiti Device Bridge Switch costs $299 and is available today. Please leave your questions and comments down below. I'm going to continue testing with these. They are fantastic devices. I look forward to playing around with them some more. As always, thanks for watching.